chair. Er Back and forth. I like really, to silently dance. Yeah, I really have nothing to say to you. Just let me vogue. <laughs> I'm voguing. Yeah. Um, how was your weekend, Paul? It was good. It was. It was good. How was yours? Yours is way better than mine. It was good. Hi. I'm just kidding. <laughs> good talk. <laughs> Great talk. And that's about it. And after that, I don't um, want to say that I went anywhere over the weekend though because I'm not tan. So I don't want to embarrass myself. What? Are we live? <laughs> okay. Good morning, Facebook, and welcome to Show Off Live. Today is Tuesday, May 31st. Welcome back from the long weekend, everybody. Uh, welcome back, Paul. Welcome back. I missed you, Lynn. I missed you, too. Oh, you know, Jonathan did such a great job, though. I, I, was, I uh, killed it. Yeah. Nailed it. I just, I really wanted him to wear a blonde wig, though, so, like, we could try to pass it off as me. Right. But he didn't. Yeah. So, okay. Um, you guys, welcome back to Show Off Live. You are tuning in with us where we give you the latest and the greatest news and trivia of today's hottest TV shows every day. Right here at 11 a.m. I'm your day. host, Lindsay. And um, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, there was a shark attack in Newport. So I heard. Yeah, or a... a the article mentioned that it was um, an animal, a vicious animal attack or something like that. I'm totally butchering the, the story, but <laughs> I personally don't think it was a shark. What do you think it was? I think it was an eel. I'm going to disagree with you. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know what? Sharks you get it bad. Yeah. I think, you know what I bet it was? Um, that movie with Blake Lively is coming out, The Shallows. And I feel like this maybe... Some guerrilla marketing. It was, yeah, it was some marketing. E some eel marketing. Yeah. <laughs> Joke, it was a fake shark. That's why it was like animal because it gotcha. was okay. Anyway, let's dive right in you guys today We have uh, some so live trivia let's and do it. we're doing um, arrow uh, Today's trivia game involves silly string and goggles. So get ready for that. Paul Why don't you join me right on up here? We're just gonna dive right into the games. Let's do it. We're just going to dive right Got in. Silly string. Move my notebook here. I don't know why I'm doing that voice. I'm baffled as well. <laughs> Everybody is confused because it's Tuesday and it feels like Monday. Very disorienting. So what we're going to do is we're going to play some Arrow Trivia, okay? Uh, you guys can awful. find Arrow Trivia on our app. It's uh, free in the iOS store and Google Play store. Uh, or on our Facebook page. How you doing, Helen? <laughs> the struggle is real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, anytime Paul's going to um, quiz me, and anytime I get one wrong, uh, I get silly stringed. And yep. anytime he gets, I mean, I get one right, I silly. I get silly him. stringed. This is like really making my eyes feel like they're going to pop out of the socket. Hold on. <laughs> it's going to be hair very is silly. All mess. Like everything is just a mess. Here we go. All right. I'm All just, right. Do I put it on under the bun or on top of the bun? I don't know. I've never had to work with a bun and goggles before, so I don't know. Really? This is, your, your guess is as good as mine. Okay. All right. How are you going to put your goggles on? I'm just going to hold them because my face is way too large for this. This is clearly a child's goggles. Okay. You know, my face is at least several see. child's faces. So. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do this. It's a mess. True or false? Oliver Queen was married to Nyssa. A true, B false. True. Of course he was. Of course. Of course that's true. So you spray me in the face. <laughs> and here we go. Okay, ready? I'm just thinking. Oh no, our shirts. What, is it going to stain them? It's live. We're doing it live. We're doing it. I'll throw this shirt yeah, out. Yeah, right. This shirt sucks. Yeah. yeah. Screw these shirts. Let's do we it. We don't care. <laughs> oh, no, oh, wait. You oh. There you go. Hopefully your mouth was closed. It wasn't. Uh, if you miss the first time, I don't think you should go a second time. That tastes like poison. That's it is poison, Paul. All right. Get it out. All right, we're moving on. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to be oh dead by the God. end of these five questions. You just fall over? Woo! All right. Oh my I'm going to get you, though. No, but it's really on your mouth, though. I'm really worried about it. Anyway. It's okay. Dun, 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 dun. I if drank worse dies, things than this this past weekend. Live. For three seasons, Blank was the oh, only no. one to move around Star City at night without a mask. A, John Diggle. B, Malcolm Merlin. Not the right one? It's not question number two. I'm sorry. Oliver Queen's catchphrase <laughs> in season one was... I'm a little... Yeah. Okay. Anyway. 
I remember Queen's catchphrase in season one was, you have blank this city. Was it A, neglected, B, failed, C, hurt, or D, disappointed this city? You have disappointed this city. No, you have failed this city. And now, sweet, sweet retribution. So close. Oh, no. There we go. Ooh, man. I glued it shut. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, you gotta face me. No, no. Now I'm gonna ask you a question. You should be like answering, answering me as I spray this in your face. All right, ready? Here we go. Yeah, it's scarier than you think. It's really scary. It feels right. like you're being shot in the face. <laughs> yeah. You With did a get gun. shot. All right. But it's. Well, it smells so bad. I am so sorry that way. Yeah, how, yeah. How do you think that is on the taste buds? <laughs> Not good. Okay. Uh, Yum. <laughs> okay. Now on to question three. For okay. three seasons, <laughs> this this eyes. is the right question now. For three seasons, <laughs> blank three seasons. was the only one to move around Star City at night without a mask. Was it A. Oh. John Diggle, B. Malcolm Merlin, oh, C. Man. Felicity Smoke, oh. or D. Roy Harper? I'm gonna say. B. It's A, John Diggle. He doesn't wear a mask. Of course he doesn't. Oh, you know that, Linz. Come on. I forgot. Here we go. I'm not getting you good enough. There okay, we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Well, get one right and you can get me back. All right. On to your question number four. True or false? Deadshot, a notorious member of the Suicide Squad, Killed John Diggle's brother. A true, B false. False. Yeah, that's false. Okay. <laughs> Get ready! <laughs> okay. Um, I want to tell you something shocking so that you go... <gasps> <laughs> ready? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of another creative way to do this. Dang it. <laughs> there you go. You're a terrible shot. I'm making shot. sure to aim for all the lights in the studio, too. So <laughs> yeah. that's that's really good. Next time I'll aim Ooh. for the camera. Uh, <laughs> I'll take that off for a second because I just inhaled a lot of that. Why does it... This one likes to go uh, real... <laughs> are we both... We're both, okay. like, high now for this? Okay. Number five. Because the fumes are so strong, it's... Everyone's yeah. passing I'm out. I'm also snorting it. It's inside my goggles. There's no point to having goggles on. All right. <laughs> It like curved around. I curved a bullet. <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> Defies arrow. physics. Arrow can't oh, do that. You know, you're going to lose this. He cursed this. the arrow. The name of the drug that keeps reappearing in Star City is A, Valium, B, Mirakuru, C, Vertigo, or D, Blue Sky. Blue Sky. Wrong. Blue no! Sky is the meth that they make in uh, Breaking Bad. <laughs> The correct answer is Mirakuru, because who oh, would make up that name of a drug yeah. and just put that in there? Oh, anyway, man. here we go. I knew that one, dang it. <laughs> When's it coming? I don't know. Now. In my ear! It's it's hanging off the goggles, it's not in your ear. All right. What? What'd you say? <laughs> I think you blew out my And our, our host ass. is deaf forever. All right. Okay. And so, that's still live trivia. There's more arrow trivia uh, on our app, and <laughs> you do not spray me. I don't have my goggles, my protective goggles. Go buy your computer so I can spray your computer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, if you're just joining us, we just played so live trivia, silly string edition. Uh, I'm pretty sure I lost. Um, so let's let's move right along. Let's let's. Do I leave my goggles on? Of course. Yes. No. So now we are about. <laughs> let's get them off. We'll get them off. Let's get comfy. Back to one. Okay, back to one. Back to one. <laughs> Hello, Facebook Live. Okay, uh, so uh, we're going to do a show about last night where we recap last night's entertainment for your viewing pleasure. And today we are doing a double recap Sunday night and Monday night, y'all. Okay. Hello. Um, a lot of TV was happening over the weekend, so we're going to cover uh, two today, and then we're going to do some Bachelorette stuff tomorrow or um, Thursday. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So, uh, but don't worry, Bachelorette fans. We, we've got you covered uh, in silly string. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, Game of Thrones. My first note mm -hmm. was, whoa, 
Sam's brother is sexy. He That's is what you took away from fine. His name is Dickon Tarley. Okay. I mean, well, that wasn't suggested. on purpose. Yeah. Oh, good old Dick. Ken Tarly. <laughs> okay. Uh, he was uh, also Cormac McLaggen in Harry Potter. But man, though, points for Slytherin or whatever that's a, that's he was on because he is. That's up top on your Game of Thrones. Fine. He had, we he have also a picture had, like, of him? Lines. No we picture. have no picture of him. So just imagine <laughs> a sexy, blonde. How is he Sam's brother, though? The casting llama, I'm not, not so much. But mm. okay, so anyway, um, I'm going to make a prediction. Mm. Okay, I'm going. I'm going on the record. Gilly and Baby Sam mm. are Gonzo. Okay, I'm gonna say that they're gonna die next episode because listen. On the very next episode. I mean, unless they really drag it out, but mm -hmm. I think that they're setting us up for for. I can see that they like to kill babies. Yeah, they, they do. Babies. And that baby is like, oh, that baby was so cute and so featured in last mm -hmm. uh, yep. episode. So they want us to just be damaged. He's like laughing and giggling, and then I was just like, this is all set up for sure. So, um, also, King, uh, Tommen. King Tommen banishes his uncle dad. Yeah. Awkward. Family tension. Yeah. You know what's great, though? What? Uh, Jamie Lannister and Brienne of Tarth are now headed to the same place for a little reunion of those two, but on opposite sides. So I think that's pretty oh, cool. Oh, we got a battle royale! Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually don't know what Battle Royale is a reference to, so I'm just assuming that's a big battle. <laughs> sure. uh, you guys, the Red Wedding King is back, too. Yep, that crusty Yikes. old gross guy. Yeah. And he had a new, like, 12-year-old wife next to him that was like this the whole time. He gave a little tap on the booty. <laughs> saw that. That was uncomfortable. Yeah, and I was like, ooh. And I, what is, so what is that? I, you know... What, what's what going is on, what is what's going on? That was kind of my thought the whole episode was I was what like, what is happening? What's really happening? You're because like, Sam's brother's hot. That's Sam's all brother's I hot. That's all I. That's I was literally zoned out for the mm -hmm. rest of the episode because I was like, <laughs> that dude's so hot. So so Walter Frey, <laughs> who killed everybody in the Red Wedding, has uh, yeah Edmore Tully captive, who he's going to use. He's going to be used strategically uh, to take back River Run no, from from those I hate guys. that guy. So, that guy's so nasty. Yeah. Um, also, last but not least, I want to say that uh, Arya mm -hmm. is screwed Done. because uh, she was ready, but to make her own decision, and uh, she completely ruined her whole training. Right? She, she went against not to, everything. Not she to kill, uh, yeah. That's fine because I was sick Which, of that story. Which what? Line. I know yeah. I was sick of it too. I was yeah, like, let's please, out, let's, let's be done with this. Yeah. But that Jesus uh, face mask guy is gonna be. <laughs> It's going to yep, be on not, her tail. So let's move on. Uh, last night, uh, So You Think You Can Dance premiered its 13th season with a little twist. The dancers this season will be between the ages of 8 and 13. How fun! We get to see these kids dance. We get to see kids do everything on TV. They, yeah, cook, they cook, they dance, they sing. They dance, they sing. Little servants. They do jokes. Yep. Yeah. Dance, monkey dance. <laughs> um, no, but uh, Maddie Ziegler from Dance Moms. Or mm -hmm. Ziegler? 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 Ziegler. I don't know. I don't know, but Maddie. I, I, I just know her as Maddie, you know, first name basis. Uh, she will join the judges, which is awesome. She's an incredible dancer. Mm -hmm. um, she was, I, I'm pretty sure that she was the one who was in the Sia music videos. Yeah, she was, yeah. yeah she's the Sia, the Sia dancer. Mm -hmm. um, she will join judges Jason Derulo, Paula Abdul, and Nigel. Hey. Okay. I know that I am going to be rooting for 10-year-old Merrick from California, a.k.a. the Robot Boy, okay? He loves robots. He wants to be a robot engineer. Mm -hmm. He also loves surfing, and his favorite robot is Wally. He is adorable, and then also an incredible dancer. His uh, audition featured freestyle hip-hop with lots of poppin' and lockin', and he did this weird thing where he was, like, linked up, and then he, like, made his arm, like, it was, like, water. Do it for us, Lens. Here. <laughs> hey, I'm Merrick. I'm 10 years old. I'm auditioning for So You Think You Can Dance. Oh, let's take it back to one. <laughs> I have like all this. <laughs> and he was like this. He was like, mm, 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 mm. and then he went like this. And then he was like, <laughs> no, he did that. But and oh, he, yeah, he wowed the judges audition. with that one. Yeah. I wish I was 12 so I could be on So You Think You Can Dance. <laughs> uh, I was incredible and it blew away the judges, you guys. And it blew me away as well. All right. So today for today's Live Five, uh, our Live Five features... The top five sidekicks. There's a lot of sidekicks. Take it away, Paul. All right, so number five, we're starting with Becky from Empire, played by uh, Gaborni Sidibe of Precious Ooh. fame. You know her from Pre Precious. She's uh, Lucius's assistant. Yes, She's been okay. in it from, uh, from the first episode. 
She's the only one that Lucius can really trust. Mm -hmm. And she was actually one of the first ones to find out that Lucius has ALS. Oh, man. So, but she's usually the smartest person in the room. She's, uh, I love she's it. great. You got to have her around, especially with a lot of people like backstabbing and all that right? kind of nonsense on Empire. Yeah, you need someone that you can trust. Number four, Ravi Chakrabarty from iZombie. Ooh. He's a medical examiner. Okay. He's the guy who originally confirms that Liv, the main character, is indeed a zombie. You, you, you keep those people around. He's even trying to help him find a cure. Am I a zombie cure. or am I not a zombie? I am. I'll keep you around. Thanks. <laughs> We're going to be lifelong friends. I need you. Yeah. Uh, but he's, he's, here's the thing. He's helping her find a cure. For, so uh, that she can oh, be definitely you need to keep I him person. around. Yeah. yeah. Instead of an eye zombie. Yeah. Moving I'm on. <laughs> an eye person. Great. <laughs> Uh, Bo on Colony. Yes. Who's played by Carl Weathers. Yes, Carl and that's, Weathers! That's all you need to know, really, because who Carl doesn't Weathers want... Carl Weathers is the best sidekick, regardless of what show it is going to be saying. on. I'm saying, Tobias Funke. Uh, he, uh, he remember on uh, Rest of Development? Come on. <laughs> oh, my Carl God. Carl Weathers training? So good. Anyway, if I had I Carl Weathers as my yeah. sidekick, yeah. I would Carl, not be yeah, doing this show. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. What is that? We get Carl right? Weathers in here. Yeah. He could be, yeah. Anyway, Carl so. Weathers, uh, we are sending out a cyber invitation to join us, join us on Show Off Live. But not to star or anything. We just want you as a sidekick. We just so want you as a sidekick. So I'll yeah. kind of have you half on screen with me. Right, yeah. Because you're psychic. Moving on. John Diggle on Arrow, who you got yes. the question wrong. He is a member of Team Arrow. Great. He does uh, field support, decoy, guidance for Arrow oh. in times of doubt. Uh, hey, he those arrows need guidance. They do, yeah. Or else those arrows are going everywhere. <laughs> it's a free-for-all uh, arrow show. He started out as Oliver's bodyguard, which is how many great relationships start. Yes. Um, Meacham and Frank hey, Underwood. Hey, Bernie Spears dated uh, her bodyguard. That's true. But then also, it's all I have House of Cards, Meacham and Frank Underwood. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That got oh, a little yeah. sexual, too. Well, weird. it always does, Paul. Yep, it always does. It always does. And I'm just going to clean there's off There's nothing this. I know in life. Bodyguards always get sexual. Yeah. Number one. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Moving on to number one. Jorah and Daenerys. You knew it was coming. Uh, yes. Sidekicks are strong bonds. Uh, but when your sidekick is head over heels in love with you, yeah, that's, the strongest, say, bond, that's the strongest bond, Linz. Yikes. the strongest bond. Ooh, friend zone for life. Yeah. Sidekick for life. Oh my gosh. I saw this meme online that was so funny. It was um, from the last time that we saw him and her, and he was like, I love you. And mm. <laughs> it showed her face, Daenerys, and it said, scene, <laughs> with like a check mark. It was really yeah. funny. It was really funny. Uh, Yay. Yeah, that's, that's all we got. We're, we're <laughs> got an honorable mention. Oh. oh, we got our director's calling for the honorable mention. <laughs> Producer Paul. Maybe Producer Clark. Paul. Honorable mention, sidekick. This Worth it. One sucks. Worth it. Hold on. Redo. Producer Yeah, make Paul. sure it reads on camera. You won. Yeah, there you go. Got me. You won. Good thing you have glasses on. I'm going home. Good night. I did you do. Oh no. my god, your computer. Don't worry about that yeah. now. We're live. We're live. And his Mac is ruined. Producer Paul, the show's <laughs> going down because I confetti or funfetti the whole thing. All right, you guys, before we sign off, it is your turn to show off with caption this. Friday's winner for the Red Nose uh, NBC special. Uh, caption this. Michael C. 1080. Was Michael C. 1080. All I ever wanted was a real pony. Yep. That's good. That's really funny. Yeah. There was like a stripper pole joke in there, but we decided uh, go classy. With go class. We're gonna stay classy. Facebook, you know. Uh, so, <laughs> Paul, you're looking so good. I'm looking classy. You're just such right a now. trooper. That's you know that is the best sidekick because mm -hmm. you you take the fun penny. I take the fun penny. <laughs> okay. Take the for, shots to the face. <laughs> for today's caption, this we have a screen grab from Sunday night's episode of Game of Thrones. We want you to show off and give us your best caption. Comment in the comment section below. So if you can see, there's a there's a live comment feed that's happening. If you just are inspired, please uh, leave your caption for us. Um, mine would be, uh, it's Aria, right? So it's, uh, uh, yeah. mine would be, um, I shouldn't have done these French braids. They aren't flattering on my face. <laughs> that's immediately where my mind went, yeah. Yep. They aren't okay. flattering on my face. <laughs> they aren't flattering on my face. Okay, very... you guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We had so much fun with some goofy string. Um, if you want to play on your own or with your friends, download our app in the App Store. It's free. 
We will see you tomorrow, right here. We have a special guest tomorrow. Uh, we have a very talented movie slash TV star. Karen Sony is gonna be in the studio tomorrow! I wish I could like pop champagne bottles, but these are just flood Just some goofy strings. You guys, Karin Sony was just seen in Deadpool. He also will be in the upcoming movie Ghostbusters with Kristen Wiig, Melissa McCarthy, all those gals. I've heard of it. I don't know what you're talking about. Typical man, hating <laughs> on the all-female. Oh, come on, don't go there. I love you, ladies. <laughs> he loves ladies. Don't hate. Don't hate in the comments. We don't need any hate. Uh, um, also, but yeah, so Karin's wanna... joining us tomorrow, so tune in. That'll be fun. Yeah, we gotta remind people to subscribe to our page. Yes. So you could uh, know when we're going live and yeah. play along with us here. Turn it on the notifications. You can go onto the little sidebar and click uh, notify me. And it'll tell you when we're live. So yeah, join us tomorrow, 11 a.m. right here, same place. Car and Sony will be here. We're going to play some trivia. Catch you later. Ding, 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 ding.